Hey everyone, this is Josh here. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot exporting problems in Premiere. So as you can see here, this project that I have here goes till about, total running time is about 18 minutes. Now a lot of times with Premiere when you try to export a large file, you'll run into a lot of errors, like you'll, you'll send it over to Media Encoder, or you'll render it out in Premiere and you'll get an error that might say like error, unknown error, and it just will never work no matter how hard you try. And so I found a solution to that problem that is very simple, but at the same time, it can be a very meticulous problem to solve depending on the severity of it. So essentially what you need to do before you render out, before you export the project, you need to render what's called rendering out the timeline. And the way you do that is you go up to, so first of all, you mark your in and your out points. As you can see here, I've marked the, this is your in and out marker here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little timeline tool, move it to the end and do an out mark. And then let's make sure we're marked at the end point. Okay, good. So the whole project's selected right now. Before I click on that, I'm gonna show you what it's gonna do. So as you can see here on the timeline, like a majority of the timeline is green. And this means that everything on the timeline here is completely rendered. But then you'll notice that on the timeline on the second portion, there's this yellow space. And that's the space that is not fully rendered. And you'll even notice if you zoom in a little bit closer um, on some of these clips, you'll have these little red markers too. So essentially what you do is when you go to sequence, render in and out, what it, that'll essentially do is render out the entire video within the sequence. And this allows you to play through the video without having it lag. So that's another thing that you can do. And ultimately what it'll help you do is it'll help you render out your video without having any severe errors come up. So to do that, you just simply click on it and then it will start rendering. And I'll skip forward here. Okay, so now that it's done rendering the timeline, you'll notice that the entire top of the timeline here, it shows this green bar that essentially means that everything in the timeline is rendered out. So if you played this from start to finish, ideally there would be you no know, lagging up here in the, in the window here where you'd see your video playing. Uh, there'd be none of that. And more importantly, as to why you're probably taking this tutorial is the fact that when you export it, there'll be no errors. Now, something that's really, really important to point out here with this process is that sometimes when you even render out the timeline, you'll get an error that they'll say like error, unknown error that could come up or just some sort of error of some kind. Now, if that happens, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to render it in small chunks. So for example, um, say, say I rendered it out and I got an error. And when I say rendering, I'm talking just the timeline only. And so what I would essentially do is I'd start at the beginning and then I just render it in small little chunks. So I just render maybe this much here and then go up to sequence render in and out, and then just render render that part out there. And as you can see, it's already rendered here, but we could just assume that that would be yellow. Maybe if I like move this around, it'll, it'll show it rendered here or not rendered. So, so yeah, now you, can, now you can see that the timeline here isn't rendered. So you could just render out just a small portion here, like so. So I'd go up to sequence, render in and out. And then what it's gonna do is just gonna render that very, very small portion there. And if it renders out fine, then we know that there's no, there's no corrupted frames or corrupted parts of that video. So it looks like it rendered out fine. So essentially you're just gonna keep doing that until you find the error. And then once you find the part that's the error, you're just going to zoom in really, really close to wherever that would be. So let's just let's just say there was we rendered an error in this in this one here. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna zoom in really, really close and then and then do it in even smaller chunks. And then as you do that, you'll eventually find the error. Now I know this part can be very, very tedious, but it will definitely help you get rid of those those corrupted parts of the, the timeline. Alright, so once once everything is rendered out again, and once the whole timeline appears green, you're going to go, make sure everything is selected that you want to render out, and you're going to go to File, Export, Media, 
And you're gonna do this in Premiere. Don't render it out in Media Encoder. That's very, very important for this to work. And so you're gonna set the settings to whatever you want, call the file what you want to call it, and then put it to the right location that you want it to go to when it's exported, and then you're going to click Export. And so, just remember to render out the sequence before you export the entire project. That was very important. All right, well, thank you. And if you have any more problems, uh, just comment below and I will do my best to help you resolve them.